I'm Mackenzie. I'm Jess. And welcome back to Woo! our series, Four, Four things, things to know. know. So what are we talking about today? Today we have an amazing product to talk to you about. We know you guys have really been enjoying this series because we're diving into some new products, why you love them, why they're unique. And I think today's hero, the star, is going to be something we all need to know about, and that is the new sunscreen. Do you see the color? Like an influencer. Beautiful. Do you have it backwards? No? Okay. <laughs> so we're off to a good start. This is the Squalane Plus Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. Yeah, I love this. This is going to be SPF 30 and it's broad spectrum. We're going to dive into all of that. We're going to let you know everything about this and why it's so incredible. Mm -hmm. But okay, first off, just in general sunscreen, tell me your experience about sunscreen growing up. Okay, so I'm from Hawaii. Humble brag. Humble brag, mm -hmm. which means we get a lot of sun. I don't know if you know that. And so I grew up with sunscreen, like going to the beach. Yeah. You're like that little kid that your parent is chasing you to trying to like rub you in and you come out like really white from like the yep. full blown sunscreen. Yep. And then one of my really good friends, she had her dermatologist tell her like the best thing for anti-aging are a hat and SPF. Mm -hmm. And this was when I was in my 20s and I was like, Psh, whatever. But yeah. it's really true. So I wear sunscreen every day, no matter what. Like indoor, outdoor, like it's at least on my face every day. Wow. Yes. What about you? Uh, well, I'm actually really impressed because I think that you actually do it. And I am an esthetician <laughs> and it's pretty much like the cardinal rule. Like when you get your license, you have to like solemnly swear you will always wear sunscreen every okay. day. And I don't. Wait, you don't wear sunscreen? Or so I have it. I got in trouble for not wearing eye cream, but yeah. I have a one-up on Mackenzie because I wear sunscreen every day. True, true. I'm going to give it to you. Yes. Because I know why sunscreen is so important, but I haven't enjoyed sunscreen in the past. Okay, when that's it fair. interferes with my makeup, when it's like greasy, when it's white, when I'm washed out, I don't want to look like one of those lifeguards with like the zinc on your nose. Right. So okay. I will take that risk. Like I might look like that. My husband is like you. He like doesn't like the greasy feeling. Mm -hmm. He like won't do it. I've tried so many sunscreens. I put it in his medicine cabinet and he like doesn't wear it. And we'll be out and he'll be like, did you bring the sunscreen? And I'm like, no, because I put it on every day. And now he has some sunspots because he was running a lot last summer. I don't have any sunspots. But you, okay, so sunspots, <laughs> like you're actually bringing up a good yeah. thing. Sunspots are kind of like the ghost from sun exposures past. <laughs> like it comes up yes. way later in life and you're like, ah, what do I do right, right. now? Well, you can't do anything at that very moment because no. it happened years ago. Right. So it, do, the, it takes a while for it to show up. It takes a while for it to go away. Mm -hmm. But what you should be doing every single day to prevent that is using a good sunscreen. So I think that leads us into a great sunscreen. Yeah. So let's talk about it. Okay. So what are we going to cover today? The four things you have to know. What does it do? Why is it so effective? Who's it for? And how to use it? Exactly. Right? You're going to, this is going to become your daily sunscreen and I promise it's going to be seamlessly put into your routine and if you're somebody like me who never like avoided sunscreen and sort of like played like that la 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 I'm not getting sun exposure because <laughs> that's kind of what I do. Okay. You're going to actually use this every day and it's not going to feel like a chore and you're going to be protecting your skin, which is really the most important thing. Right. And we want to age gracefully, I should say, not mm -hmm. prematurely. So True. Exactly. Let's talk about sun exposure. And when it comes to what this does, mm -hmm. this is actually SPF 30. Okay. SPF stands for sun protection factor. Okay. So 30 is the perfect amount for daily exposure, like your Got daily it. sunscreen. You are going to want to reapply this if you're out in direct sunlight during the day. If you're somebody like in the city, you're walking to work, mm -hmm. you uh, live in a... Uh, uh, a countryside or anything right. like that when you're outside and you're walking around you do need sunscreen mm -hmm. the other thing is that this is broad spectrum so UVA and UVB okay and that means a couple of things but what I want to say you are getting UV exposure even when it's not sunny right because when it's cloudy it can still come through exactly so the UVB rays are the burning rays right. those are the ones that can actually create a burn okay the UVA rays are what we call the aging rays those Ooh. are the ones that go a little bit deeper and they can create a tan they can also create wrinkles okay so we don't want those either right so we don't want to be red from UVB and we don't want to be wrinkly from A Exactly. A for aging. Exactly. That's how I'm going to remember it cuz I didn't so, know until just now. And you're going to get those UVA exposures mm -hmm. even when it's cloudy. Okay, so oh, sunscreen every day. Every day. Well, Especially. I use it every day. Are you using this every day? I am now. Okay, see? So we've converted someone. Exactly. <laughs> SPF 30, broad spectrum. There's another one that mm -hmm. makes this one super cool. PA++, plus plus plus, PA++, if you're fancy. Okay. It started in Japan. Okay. It's a global 
rating, globally recognized rating basically, that spe speaks to the measurement of how well it's going to protect against the UVA rays. Okay. So whereas SPF is a measurement that protect tells you how good it's going to be against protecting UVB, PA++ uh -huh. really shows you the measurement against UVA. Got it. So we have a very good broad spectrum sunscreen right here. Three pluses. Three pluses. The other thing that's cool about this is it's a mineral sunscreen. Okay, so explain to me, I know there's like a chemical versus mineral, but explain more about this, like why does it matter? Right. Well, we can start by saying everything is a chemical. That's right. like a whole other conversation. But when it comes to sunscreens, there's two categories of sunscreen. One is going to be mineral, mm -hmm. and those are going to be mineral sunscreens like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. And those are the ones like that don't like blend in. I think those are the ones that you sit there and you're like, why am I white? Why am I white? Why do I look like a lifeguard, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. And we have actually created a way to use, this is a mineral sunscreen that is blendable. Like actually spreads and evenly absorbs into the skin and doesn't leave a white cast or a, for a skin tone like mine, I don't look washed out. Okay. This is truly great for all skin tones. Back to my groupings here. Okay. We have the mineral, right, mm -hmm. which unfortunately sometimes look really um, white because right. they are minerals. But the other group is chemicals. Okay. Chemical sunscreens. These are ones that look like abibenzone. Um, octosalate, and we can list a whole other, all the graphics here, because there's a lot of syllables in these ones, and I'm going to mess it up. They both work. Mineral and chemical both work. Right. Here are the pros and the cons. Okay. Pros for mineral sunscreen, mineral sunscreens are reef safe, meaning that they're not going to harm coral reef, and if the fish eat the, if you wash it off your face and the fish eat it, they're not going to become like toxic bombs. Got it. Very is, important in Hawaii. We just banned unreef safe sunscreen. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. And then you have um, the mineral sunscreens, which reflect UV rays. Okay. So you kind of think of it as like a bunch of invisible mirrors, mm -hmm. sort of being like UVA, UVB, <laughs> bam, 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 like reflected. Okay. Then you have chemical sunscreens, which actually will absorb Got it. the UV and UVB. And those can sometimes heat up the skin and break down in heat mm -hmm. a little bit quicker. And the other thing about chemical sunscreens is not all of them are good for reef safety. Okay, got it. We choose to use mineral sunscreen only in this new sunscreen mm -hmm. because it is better for the environment. Right. And zinc is also a really good in ingredient for even sensitive skin mm -hmm. because it already has calming effects to it. This is why you don't have kids yet, right? No kids. Okay, but if you have kids out there and you've used like um, any sort of salve for like a baby rash, mm -hmm. it always has zinc in it. <laughs> this is uh -huh. because it really is a calming Got it. ingredient. So we love zinc because it shows amazing right properties for protecting your skin against UV exposure. And when we combine the zinc with our squalane, mm -hmm. you have an amazing spreadability, you have amazing application, and you aren't gonna see the white. Got it. Tell me more about why it's so effective. Let's talk about that. So you said blendability. Mm -hmm. I That's why one reason I love this sunscreen is like, you can like put it in and it just like disappears. It almost feels like a moisturizer. Like, so, yeah. Exactly. When you're putting this on, yeah. you're rubbing it in, it doesn't feel sticky. No. It actually is fragrance free too, so you're not going to have that. Like, yeah, I'm like, I don't even have my hand yet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no scent. But like, look, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't like this like crazy rubbing. There's no white cast, mm -hmm. which is amazing. I actually like use it sometimes just as a moisturizer. So, okay, that's a really good point. This is a sunscreen with hydration, right? right? So it's basically a sunscreen with moisturizing properties. This is perfect for somebody who's looking yeah. for a lightweight sunscreen Screen. that feels like a moisturizer. Right. But for me, I'm a normal dry skin. Mm -hmm. I still, I love my moisturizer or oil, and then I follow up with this sunscreen. Right. But I'm just you... lazy, so <laughs> okay. when I'm tired, and I don't want to do an extra step, I just put this on. Tired, lazy, <laughs> minimalist, busy. Yes. Like whenever you're like, I need my routine to be yeah. super fast, you grab this and this can be your one and done that day. Right. And you've protected your skin, which is crucial. Exactly. I normally do like a moisturizer, serum, oil, this. I, wait, wait, serum first. Serum first. Okay. Just saying all of the products I do, not in order. I'm getting tested here. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but when I'm feeling lazy, yeah, I, or busy, and I want to like sleep in an extra five minutes, and I just put this on. There you go. That's I will allow that. <laughs> um, so the other thing that makes this really impressive, there are other ingredients in here. So we are only using non-nano zinc oxide in here. Okay. There's no um, titanium dioxide. It's just a zinc product. Mm -hmm. The non-nano aspect of it means that it is the perfect size to provide that protection mm -hmm. without going, when you wash it off, it's not going to be any, it's not going to be harmful for aquatic life. Got it. We love that. Mm -hmm. Then we've got water lily extract in here, which mm -hmm. is an ingredient that 
calms your skin from UV or heat stress. Oh. So, okay, think about it like this. If you pull a something you're cooking, baking out of the oven, right. like a pie or a casserole, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you cook? Cookies. Okay, cookies. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull the cookies out of the oven and you set it down, that sheet or that pan right. is still hot and mm -hmm. sometimes those things can still be cooking a little right. bit. So when you have been out in the sun, mm -hmm. sometimes when you come back inside, your skin is still almost cooking a little bit. I have had that happen. Oh, yeah. Where like you think you're fine and then like after a beach day and then you come home and all of a sudden like you're red three hours later and you're like, but I thought I was fine out in the sun. Right. So when you use something like water lily extract, right. it kind of will stop that and cool uh, cool down that UV or heat stress on your skin, which is pretty great. Mm -hmm. And water lily is amazing at helping to reduce the look of redness in the skin. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. The hero ingredient yes. to all Biosense products is the squalane. Mm -hmm. So the sugarcane derived squalane is this weightless hydrator. And when combined in this formula, it's what makes this a game changing sunscreen because right. of the spreadability. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? I mean, we can go with I'm it. Making that blendability. Works. Blendability, spreadability. Yeah. All the abilities, right? It yes. has them all. When you put this on, it doesn't feel like a chore. Did you guys just see that? Like, did, I hope we were able to zoom in because it just disappeared as she was talking. Yeah, we're, we're becoming magicians with this. Yes, sunscreen. it is like a magician thing. It vanishes. Like, but when I use this, I still want to put um, makeup on top. Mm -hmm. And whenever I used a sunscreen that felt greasy and sticky and heavy throughout the day, this won't do that. And that's why I can say that I'll use the sunscreen without even thinking, right. uh, seamlessly put it into my routine. I, again, I do it after moisturizer before uh, makeup. Mm -hmm. Who is this for? I mean, everyone should wear Everybody. sunscreen. Everybody, when we, we have skin, you need to protect your skin mm -hmm. with sunscreen. Sunscreen is a universal product. Actually, 90% of skin damage comes from sun exposure. So you gotta use it. You weren't wearing sunscreen. I know I wasn't wearing sunscreen. I know, <laughs> it really is something that is a terrible thing, but I, use it now and I would always use it on vacation. How many of you guys have like actually said, okay, yes, I use sunscreen, but only on vacation when right. you think it's appropriate, right? When you're at the beach mm -hmm. or something like that. This is your daily sunscreen. I'm talking city um, walkers. I'm talking right. people who work on a farm, people who live on coastal cities or in like everywhere. Right. Like I'm not outside like walking and get a ton of sun every day. Sadly, I'm like more at my computer looking at Excel sheets, but I, Exciting. yes, but I wear this every day. Yeah. Because we have windows, right? And they can come in through the windows. I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody just said like, you can get sun exposure through windows and I believe them. You, yeah, you can, you <laughs> absolutely can. And here's the other thing. There's amazing clinical studies on this mm -hmm. product, which actually is another reason why it's so effective. Right. And our clinical studies show that a sunscreen, this one right here, mm -hmm. can actually help protect you from pollution Ooh. and it helps improve your hydration. That's great. So it's for everyone. So if I have oily skin, I'm not going to be a greaseball using this, right? No, not at all. It leaves like a really nice sort of dewy finish, right. but not shiny. No. And then again, if you're putting um, any makeup over this, if you're like oily skin mm -hmm. and you're sort of like a mattifying foundation, right. that's gone. But if you are somebody who wants like that dewy, fresh look all day, your makeup's going to right. be great. If you're like familiar with some of our other products, like our Omega, it's not as thick as our Omega, I would say. So like... If you use our Omega this and you have like greasy or oily skin, like you'll be fine because this is already like blended in as Absolutely. I keep like petting my hand. Yeah, <laughs> so nice. But it is kind of like a lotion, like a lightweight lotion right. is how I would describe it. Okay, so now that we know you use this every day yeah, yeah. and I use it every day, so how do we use this? Uh, the best way to use this is every day in your routine every morning. So if you're using your routine, if you have the whole mm -hmm. lineup, I would do my eye product, I would do my serum, I would do my moisturizer, right. face oil, if you use face oil, then sunscreen, then makeup. Got it. So we're all set. We are all set. This, truly, this is for anybody, any skin type, any skin tone, whatever this environment, mm -hmm. whatever your daily activities. You use I think it. like before we sign off, we should do a synchronized blend. Synchronized blend. Yeah, to show how <laughs> blendable it is. Who can blend in faster? Oh, God. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Synchronized blending. 2020 Tokyo. Who's ready for it? <laughs> We're coming for you. <laughs> but actually, that is really true. I grew up in Colorado, and when you are skiing or snowing, is it Winter Olympics? No, it's summer. Okay, well, okay. But if in, like, Winter Olympics and snow, the sun reflects off of snow a lot. So even in winter activities, you really need sunscreen. Right, okay. and then in the summer, because Hawaii doesn't have seasons, we 
we only have summer. Again, we get it. You grew up in Hawaii, okay? <laughs> Sunscreens Jeez. every day. Okay. okay. Anyway, no matter what, you need to use sunscreen. It's universal. We all need it. We all need to be protected. Mm -hmm. This one is a perfect choice, honestly, for everybody. Right. It's my new favorite sunscreen, and I'm actually using it every day. So, if you have any other questions, comments, leave it down below. You know, we want to hear from you guys. Definitely. And I've learned a lot today. Me too. Great. Thanks, Thanks for everyone. watching.